The Fed minutes seem to have crashed Bitcoin and the overall market. So we are going to discuss exactly what you need to know to figure out why the markets are going down, because it's very annoying. It looked like we were doing all right. I know Bitcoin was going sideways for a while there, but we were seeing something start to show some light. And now we have the brakes hit on us. And we're going to find out exactly what was said in these minutes for the market to turn around on us. So Fed officials continue to worry about significant upside inflation risks. This is what the minutes from the last Fed meeting said. So most Federal Reserve officials last month continued to see serious inflation risks, which could require more interest rate hikes, according to the minutes of the July policy meeting. So of course, more interest rate hikes is not what the market wants to see. Now, this has affected the overall markets. We see the S&P 500 actually losing our support here here right now. Hopefully this does turn around very soon. But if we do really lose this region here of uh, 4332, this could be turning around this current uptrend that we're in. We are also seeing the DXY break above the resistance playing out in the result that we don't want to happen, right? Heading above it now sitting at 103 and potentially going higher today. So we're gonna have to wait to see what happens. But if we do look down here, the summary of their July 25 to 26 meeting released on Wednesday said most participants continue to see significant upside risk to inflation, which would require more, which would require further tightening of monetary policy. Now, this monetary policy is currently working because we did see the United States lose $5.9 trillion in wealth last year, more than any other country in the world. So essentially, the money tightening policies that the Federal Reserve is doing is making people lose a significant amount of money. This is what we do to bring down inflation. Even though it's because of the money printing, that's the reason we have inflation. Everyone, they, they are now tightening the world's money, which makes, which makes people lose money. A significant amount of money, $5.9 trillion of wealth for Americans lost in a single year. Absolutely wild. And so far, it does look like it is working but they do want to bring inflation down to 2% per year. And currently it's not there. So they are seeing more interest rates potentially on the horizon. Now, there were two officials from the dovish camp, so the bullish camp, saying that they wanted the Fed to hold interest rates steady at July's meeting. But almost all of the Fed officials disagreed. The voting members of the Fed Interest Rate Committee voted unanimously in favor of the 25 basis point hike at the meeting, which brought the benchmark federal funds rate to a range of 5 5.25 to 5.5. This was the 11th rate hike since March 2022, and rates are now at the highest level in 22 years. So hopefully, hopefully we have reached the top of the interest rate hikes, but it is looking like a lot of the Fed officials are seeing more hikes to come. Now, hikes don't necessarily have a direct impact on Bitcoin because really, I believe still that it is a hedge against inflation. Considering we've had inflation at all-time highs and we have Bitcoin sitting in and around just 50% down from its all-time high, right? So if you were buying in the regions when everyone was mass panicking, you would actually be in a significant amount of profit like I am today. But on the Bitcoin chart, we are seeing a loss of this support zone, right? Now, like I said in the most recent video, I do believe that 28,000 is the region that we want to watch for our very strong support. We want to see that hold first of all. Now, if that was to be lost, we want to see finally 24,900, 24,800 to hold. If that doesn't hold, just like the S&P 500 we just discussed, if that doesn't hold, we will be losing this longer term uptrend. This is the daily chart and we'll be losing that uptrend. If we do move over to the weekly chart here, zoom out a bit, we can see here a very strong support. 24,800 is what we're watching for this very long-term uptrend to hold. Right now, it's not looking too worrying for me personally. If we do move further down for Bitcoin, I will continue to dollar cost average into this. I would actually love for Bitcoin to come down to 25,000 because honestly, I would just buy more. Now with this happening, Bitcoin's price heading down, but the dominance heading up, we're probably going to see a lot more blood when it comes to altcoins. If we do jump over to coin market cap here we can see that the overall market is down 1.61 percent still above very 
still above very nicely that $1 trillion mark, which we haven't lost for a long time here. But we are seeing a lot of altcoins in the red. And if Bitcoin's dominance continues to rise, we will see more blood for altcoins. But I will be talking about altcoins in a video later on today. So make sure you smash that subscribe button and turn on notifications because we do have two altcoins that have done incredibly well over the last 24 hours, which... I'm holding and I have told my community about them. With that said, looking back at the liquidations for Bitcoin, almost $50 million worth of longs liquidated, $22 million worth of Ethereum longs liquidated. And we do not trade like this here on the channel, right? The Bitcoin's price hasn't moved that much. It's only down $400 since yesterday. We should not be getting liquidated when things like that happen because that is not good risk management. And if you guys did want to trade what's happening here on Bitcoin, whether or not you think it's going to go up and down, you can do so with leverage over on Bybit. There is a link down there in my description. And if you are interested, there is a position that you can get an airdrop of a USD of $100 USDT position waiting for you now. There's only 14 days left to claim this. Almost 40% have already been claimed. So this will run out very soon. And what this gives you is an opportunity to bet whether or not XRP is going to go up or down in the short term right now for free. So sign up using the link down there in my description and we can see that XRP right now is very much on our lower level of support. I do believe that there is some more bullish momentum to come for XRP, but for now we have given back almost all of the gains over the last month when we saw that 100% move. So it's anyone's guess when this will turn around, but for me personally, I still hold XRP in my long-term bags and we can see here on the RSI it's significantly oversold right now. So this could be the turning tides. We just need to wait for some bullish news to hit the market. When this bullish news hits the market, I think we're going to see the markets rise, rise again. But be prepared for the worst case scenario. Like I've been saying, I'm waiting for something significant to happen because even this news that isn't necessarily that bad for crypto is hitting the market. So if we have something significant, like a major exchange being taken down by the SEC or something like that, it's not going to spell good news for the overall market. So be prepared for that. Put your risk accordingly. Keep cash on the side if that's something that you want to do to buy the dips. And then of course, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.